We are back at Elbow Pond, this time at a different campsite. Different part of the pond. And there's tons of squirrels and chipmunks running around. Aren't there, Anders? With the broken laptop situation, most of yesterday we spent running errands around the city, getting supplies, waiting for the new laptop, the one that I'm using just to get me by, to arrive at the UPS store that we keep running to, and are using it as our main supply drop pickup location. Electronics, things like that, those have always been issues on the road and uh, something I'll probably always continue to deal with. It's been a while, I've gone about eight months without destroying a computer, so this is good. It's not, this is a pretty decent run, pretty decent run. The reason why we end up back here is because we've been accumulating along the way out east some good go-to spots, you know, in, in a predicament or if it's a last minute camping spot, we need to find quick. So we knew this place was good and uh, had multiple sites around the pond. This new site that we're staying on here at Elbow Lake, there wasn't enough room for Jade. So Jade is parked across the street. Jabba Jade, Jabba Jade. We actually do have some neighbors down yonder and about a quarter mile heading that way north, we have neighbors as well. Everyone's been really quiet though, it's super peaceful out here. One thing we noticed right away as we got into New Hampshire is that there were, were an abundance of spiders and a lack of mosquitoes in the areas that we've been staying. So I'll take the spiders if it means no mosquitoes. As soon as we park Jade, they'll make their web and start catching the flies and mosquitoes and everything right away. And no bugs mean. Finally got to sleep on the roof again last night. No rain, no mosquitoes. It's my favorite. Stars were excellent. Every area is gonna be a little different, so I'm just kinda of long for the ride, honestly. Take what I get. We're getting a fire going here. The wood's a little wet. Looks like it rained yesterday. How's the fire going there? <laughs> it's not really. It's taking its time. Yeah, it's uh, it's not really working out too well. We'll get it. We'll get it going. Don't you know? There's Annie. How you doing, little stinker? Huh? Huh? How you doing? Oh, Annie is in Elbow Pond, up to her elbows. <laughs> oh, come on, Anders. You can do it. Little stinker. Oh, she's glad you're not sleeping with me. Yeah, shake it off, you smelly pond water dog. Today is very much a low-key kind of day, but tomorrow we are going on an adventure. Meeting up with a local here in New Hampshire. Some of you guys may know him as the Bearded Jeeper. Kyle is his real name, but apparently has a beard, apparently drives a Jeep, and apparently we're gonna meet up with them tomorrow. Should be good, should be a good time. So today, you know, I very much like to stay busy even on these you know, more rest kind of days, but it's good to reset, recover, rejuvenate your soul, your mind, your brain, and your brind. It's all of them combined. Movie. Actually gonna watch a movie. So yes, I don't know if you guys have been wondering, but yeah, we actually will watch a movie now and then again, here and then, uh, once in a while. We didn't really get a chance to set up like this at all in Maine, so kind of taking it in right now. It also allows you to get a little bit more strategic with where you wanna set up base camp next. And we can use our, using this map, just pick this sucker up. New Hampshire, Vermont, detailed demographic map. We're using this to navigate and such, getting through, finding local spots. iOverlander, again, has been very helpful as an app to navigate and uh, yeah, and hard maps. I think the rain's moving in. I don't know if we'll be able to sleep on the top of the Jeep tonight, I don't know. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll see. What do you think, Annie? You think it's gonna rain tonight? You don't care, you'll be happy. Rain or shine though, we're going wheeling tomorrow. I wanna see how many of you remember this little thing you can do with two blades of grass. You remember when you take two blades of grass and you put it 
in your hands and you blow on them. <laughs> we just rediscovered grass blade whistling. <laughs> oh wow, that was pretty good. Oh, well, Ben's got it down. Uh, we're having way too much fun with this. There's a nice echo over the water with it. Come on, all right, Ben. Your best, your best glass blowing. Before I let you guys go, a huge thank you to these wonderful people. Ethan Langley, Travis Termini, Steven Winters, and Derek Senziki. I just want to thank you guys so much for becoming Patreon pledges. Every little bit helps towards supporting this journey and keeping it going. And I plan on doing this for a very long time. Ethan, Travis, Eric, and Steven, you guys, really appreciate what you're doing.